How's it going everybody? My name is Matthew Meir and today we're going to talk about the three things you can do before a workout to your blood sugar in order to maintain better blood glucose during and after your workouts. Th these are three things that I do personally to manage my blood sugar. I strength train about three days a week and then even with cardio I do one to two sessions a week. So these, these tips are things that I do but also in general they're supported by science and etc. So without further ado, tip number one is to time your workouts consistently. Now in the fitness world, this is obvious, it's a, it's a long held truth that you should time your workouts consistently. So for instance, I go to the gym on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at noon. I do this every single week without fail and I'll, 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 I'll throw cardio in on the weekends it's, or, or if I play you know basketball during the week. Never on my workout days, I try to separate that. But for the most part, I every single week am at the gym for 45 minutes to an hour doing specific workouts Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And in the past, I used to not do this. In the past, I would you know, go whenever I felt like going or every other day or something like that. I just wasn't on a schedule. I didn't have a routine that that worked really well. I would target muscle groups that I didn't need to work on. They needed to just recover, et cetera. I just, I just didn't do it right. And when I was doing that, I wasn't experiencing gains, number one, because scientifically you have to let your muscles recover. But beyond that, you have to allow certain muscle groups to rest longer than others. You have to you know, come into the gym in the right mindset. And I find that when you allow yourself to be on a certain schedule, not only do you tend to enjoy the gym more because you're, you're mentally prepared for that day to, to get in and start getting to work, but also if you're diabetic, you experience better blood sugars because you're more in routine. When a lot of times when you're first diagnosed with diabetes, uh, especially type one, your, your doctors will tell you, hey, listen, um, you know, your nutrition, your fit, everything you do should be on a routine so that you can better predict what will happen to your blood sugar. This is absolutely true. The problem is, is that life gets in the way and we can't always be in a routine. We can't always eat the same exact thing each day. I mean, you could, but it's not fun that way. With that in mind, sticking to a workout routine that really works well for you, that you can do on a set schedule every single week is going to have dramatic effects on your blood sugar. You're gonna be able to control a lot better and you're gonna be able to predict what happens during the day. Tip number two is to not take insulin two to three hours before a workout. Now I understand this might sound counterintuitive, but here's the thing. When you go into a workout, you burn calories, which means you're burning glucose in the blood, which means that if you have insulin in the blood, absorbing that, allowing that glucose to be absorbed, then what you're really doing is you're sort of double stacking the amount of, of, of consumption you're using of glucose. You're burning calories, you're burning glucose, as well as allowing insulin to absorb that glucose. Essentially what you're doing is taking double the amount of insulin that you normally would without actually taking the insulin. This leads to crashes during a workout. It leads to a lack of mental efficiency in a workout. It's very dangerous to have hypoglycemia, we know this. So here's the trouble though, it, you know, let's say you like to work out in the morning, but you eat breakfast before you work out. Don't eat breakfast before you work out. Instead, eat what we'll talk about next, a banana, or, you know, just fast, which is a little bit more difficult going into workout. I don't necessarily recommend fasting and then working out, but, maybe time your workouts in the afternoon instead or or you know later at night after 2 3 hours after dinner so that you're not getting you know that effect overall the best thing to do is to actually eat something small that is absorbed quickly in your you know carbohydrates that are absorbed quickly before you work out so that you're not you can burn those carbs without taking the insulin but you also have enough energy to fuel your workout which brings me to tip number 3 which is to Eat a banana. Now I know what you're thinking, if you've ever eaten a banana as a type one diabetic, it probably affected your blood sugar, it spiked it. I remember the first time I ate a banana after being diagnosed with type one diabetes and uh, my sugar just spiked and I took insulin for it, it still spiked. It, it was one of those foods that I felt like I could never eat for a long time because for some reason, just the way how a banana broke down in my system, it, it really hit my blood sugar quickly. But then once I started properly working out, I started eating, 
I, well, I started realizing actually that my blood sugar was just crashing every time I worked out, uh, whether it was because I had taken insulin beforehand or whether it was because I simply didn't eat anything beforehand or it was just, you know, a, a bad time of day for me. But then, so, so one of the things I, I, I figured out was that, you know, I thought back to the past, well, hey, when I ate a banana, my sugar was spiked, maybe this will, will cover it. Well, I ate a banana, like went for a jog, like a 15, 30 minute jog, something like that. And uh, my sugar was like 135 beforehand, came back and I was like 145. I was like, wow, that was, that, that's, that's kind of weird. Uh, then I started, you know, testing that in weight training and, and all kinds of different things. And, and I found that a banana is the most effective way for me personally, but I'm sure it will work for you based on how bananas are. They are low in fat, so they don't, they, they break down a lot quicker and has a decent amount of fiber. So that also helps aid the, the digestion process. And basically you can get quick glucose that will help you in your workouts healthy. And you come back a lot of times, given the intensity of your workout, that's a factor that I figured out was very important is that you have to work out you know, intensely and able to get the full benefit of a banana. Uh, otherwise you might come back with hyperglycemia and there's the occasion where you'll have hyperglycemia regardless of whether you, you know you worked out hard or not it's just it just happens but more times than not you eat a banana before you work out you come back you know even if it's like 45 minutes an hour you're you're right back where you started recently the other day 105 going into the gym ate a banana came out 103 you know so it, it works I think it's very light on the body. It doesn't, you know, make you feel bad. I recommend waiting, you know, 15 minutes after eating a banana to start working out just to let it sort of go through your system, let that glucose charge get up. But other than that, bananas don't take insulin two to three hours before your workout and always stay on a routine. And those are three very easy ways to manage your blood sugar before, during, and after a workout. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know it's pretty brief, um, but these are just three essential tips for me that, and I, I think I think people try to overcomplicate diabetes way more than they should. Yes, it's a very, it is a complicated disease by nature. However, there are so many simple things we can do to, to make it easier on us. Of course, if you're having issues with managing type one diabetes, and even if you implement these tips, you're still having issues. I do have a coaching program, so you can always visit my website, type1diabetescoaching.com. The link is in the description below. But um, feel free to contact me, even if you just want some advice or, or a quick tip, leave a comment below or shoot me an email or schedule a free consultation and we'll talk about some stuff. But uh, other than that, hope you enjoy your day and uh, thank you.